And then today I had the business side make this book. Okay, it says 22, 23. That's this year right here. Okay. It says our story. Okay, inside of it, all the pages have no writing on it. Because this group has no history. We get to form our own story. What is that story going to be? A team that competes? A team that plays uncomfortable? Gets out of their comfort zone? A team that has no excuses? Don't complain? What's our story going to be? Tonight, man, let's start our story. Last Let's start with the NBA trade deadline. What is going to happen with the Brooklyn Nets? It feels like a lot could happen over the next 48 hours. When Kyrie requested a trade, I think that's when it sort of sped up our timeline to ask ourselves some difficult questions, whether this was the time to go into what sort of a rebuild, retool, whatever verbiage you want to use. There's been a lot of conversation about what this roster is going to look like. You know, trade deadline is Thursday at 3 p.m. We know all of this can be extremely fluid. It's going to stay in front of them. We got to get some thrust to the paint to make them uh, react to it. This is always a, uh, an interesting time for the guys in the locker room. I've tried to make it as normal as possible that if any guy has a question uh, to come to me and I can be as plain and, and simple as possible. It's what we've been talking about the entire year, is you don't know what circumstances are going to be put in front of you. This is a perfect test for our group. What are you going to do? All right, we're going to get right to it. Uh, don't want to make this awkward. This is where we are, OK? The uh, big part is you show up and do the work. You show up and do the work. You get praised, you show up and do the work. You get criticized, you show up and do the work. Nobody even noticed you. Show up, do the work, OK? You've done this first part, showing up. And we're going to put the work in to get a win tonight. Keep showing up. That's all we're going to ask for you. Keep showing up. Here we go. I have full energy and belief that this, uh, this group will continue to thrive. Nets playing undermanned in this game. Not an ideal start for the Nets. Trailing by 20 here in the first. Come on, man. Every possession. Every possession. Thomas on the attack. Leads in. And banks it home. Cam Thomas showing the full array. He scored the last 11 Nets points. Energy is up in this building. They're starting to figure it out. They're playing for each other. They're moving the ball. They're getting out the transition every single opportunity they can. Oh, the Thunder on the rejection. Three on one. Mills. Give it. Three to shoot. Thomas will take. Thomas with 44. That man doesn't scare. Cam, my guy, is once he gets in that type of rhythm, you just got to let him go. I love that everybody on the team was happy for him, continue to speed him the ball, and then we let him go to work. Thomas has it up ahead to Sumner, and that will do it. What a gutsy Brooklyn win. These games like this are opportunities, and we've got two career highs. Thomas Sumner with huge games. We was down by a lot, so I knew I had to come in, I had to be aggressive and just keep balling, so that's what I did. All right, I gotta get that smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Hey, ready, man. It's proof of who we want to be as a team, what day of the week, what state we're in, how many guys are available. It just doesn't matter that uh, you have the ability and the choice to, to lock in and, and play. And uh, the group that we had tonight, they did that. It has become official just moments ago. The Nets acquiring Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, and draft compensation for Irving. The Kyrie Irving era in Brooklyn is officially over. 
for us, our expectations don't change. We'll put a product on the floor that will compete and play hard. No if, ands, or but about that. Uh, we have an unbelievable ownership and group who want to win, and uh, that doesn't change. Thomas, electric slide three. Cam Thomas is lethal. Cam going to go for 40 again tonight? He might. Paul George spins. Blocked by Claxton, denied again. Thomas all the way. Baker is good. Cam Thomas is not human. Oh, no. Oh, yes. This world has erupted. Really, I just try to, you know, stay in the moment. And when I do get my opportunity, I try to make the most of it because I love the hoop. I just want to go out there and get my best, give it my all, and just play hard as I can. The Nets will fall short tonight against the L.A. Clippers. A lot of respect here given to Cam Thomas, what he's done the last couple of games. 44 against Washington, 47 tonight against L.A. All right, so Kyrie has his new home in Dallas with Luka and the Mavs. According to reports, when that happened, multiple teams contacted the Nets about Kevin Durant's availability, including the Nets' opponent tonight, the Phoenix Suns. The whole league is kind of waiting to hear from Durant, having the expectation that Durant will be the next big star out of Brooklyn eventually. It can definitely be a lot on your mental if you give in to it, but you just got to stay focused and control what you control. At the end of the day, we all have a job to do. We got to come out and show up to work every day. Spencer and Dorian Finney-Smith on the bench, taking in the action. That's a cool moment for Spencer and Elijah. Thomas takes step back jumper is good. Bust the foul. It's becoming box office at Barclays. Cam Thomas is the youngest player in NBA history to score 40 points in three straight games. Wow. Spirited effort once again from the underman Ness. But they drop both ends of this back to back. There's a mental space that I think you have to be in as a player. And uh, we try to challenge this group so that we can get an edge and, and a competitiveness about us uh, that uh, get us out of some holes that we dig sometimes. Uh, so I think overall, our group has learned how to figure it out. You just find a way, man. And you, you don't give in. You got to want it more than you're afraid of it. And so uh, this team, we want to win. So you can't be afraid to make a mistake. You can't be afraid to die for a 50-50 ball. You got to want it more than you're afraid of it. Man. In a blockbuster trade with the Nets, the Phoenix Suns are acquiring Kevin Durant. Phoenix sending Mikhail Bridges, Cam Johnson, and four first-round picks to Brooklyn. I think for the Nets, for Durant, I think the timing was right. Kevin Durant is a Phoenix Sun. I'm extremely thrilled to welcome the new additions to the team. This front office and this organization, and honestly, with Joe and Clara, that have shown the ability to put full resources behind making Brooklyn a championship contender, and, and that's exactly what the goal is going to be moving forward here. Do I look okay in the uni? Thank you. Number two? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It was, what, 1, 1 in the morning, and I was just doing a little bit of treatment, getting ready for bed, really, really minding my own business. I got a phone call from my dad, who had my little brother on the line. And then that's when they explained it all to me. And I was like, at, at 1.30? Like, are you sure? Is this like not a, like a prank? Are you guys trying? And I had heard, we've all heard of potential trades for months now. We kind of knew. Um, I gotta tell you, there's a lot of jokes, especially in the summer. So when Katie wanted to come here, we knew <laughs> the pieces and who might be the ones that's gonna go. And us two was the the main two. We joke around. I always said like, at least we got us. At least we got us. And um, and it happened. And that's still to this day. It's just like, at least I got my two in me. That's just that's just how it goes. Where did the twin thing come from? How'd that start? Man, is when he got drafted. We literally did everything together, and it's it's crazy because if I'm on a court, he's on a court, and we're going through the same drills. We're doing all the same workouts. And then from there, we just kind of built a friendship and we got really close. So our uh, teammate back in Phoenix, DeAndre Ayton, one day,
probably my rookie year. He was like, man, y'all are always together, doing everything together, workouts, eating, lifts, off the court, whatever. He's like, I'm gonna start calling you guys the twins. And from there, it just stuck. Here we are, three and a half years later with the same nickname. Package deal. I was just happy that Doe was able to come too. It's a welcome like thing to be traded with your friend and me and Doe are like legitimately like friends that like, we kick it. So everybody kind of gets uh, to be a little bit more comfortable. Immediately, like when they called and, and asked about him, I told him like, that's not gonna be a guy you wanna lose. I, I ain't met a guy he can't guard outside of me. So, you know, I'm just proud that he's here, man. If you're gonna go somewhere, it's always good to go home, right? I uh, spent five years here, really grew my game, grew my career. My foundation in the NBA is built here. And so I think that's the, the joy and the nostalgia that y'all kind of are seeing in my vibe right now. You can argue that I'm a nostalgia play. You can argue that he's, he's the talent that is covered. I'm just saying, depending upon how you look at it. So it's another shout out to Doe, like I said, and it's an honor to be up on the stage with him. Uh, they heard you the first time, bro. <clears throat> Like Spence said, uh, I just want to win. So any way I can affect the game, um, I, I want to do it. In my conversations with all the people here, it just seems like a great place to be. And I don't know much about Brooklyn. I don't really know much about New York City as a whole, but um, I'm starting to warm up to it over these last couple of days. And I'm really excited for what the future holds. Yeah. What's up, dude? What's up, man? I like that. Yeah, yeah like you look too. good. Oh, oh, I'm oh, with this black tee. I always got the black team. <laughs> That's hard. Okay. Favorite athlete growing up? Kevin Durant. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, it's KD. I get it. Like, I 100% get it. Like, you're getting Kevin Durant, bro. Like, maybe I'll probably make that trade too. <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. When you're trading a, a player of that stature and that ilk, uh, very difficult. But at the same time, for us, you know, to bring back these two players in that particular trade and the draft assets, you know, that gives us a clear pathway now on how to continue this. Pretty fast and furious, you know, just the little amount of time we've been able to get together uh, while also giving our guys some, some rest that have been playing, you know, high minutes. So a uh, small sample of defense and offense hopefully enough to get through tonight's game as we, you know, collect some days uh, together. Newcomers, Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith. They are in the lineup tonight. Cam Johnson and Mikel Bridges coming to the Nets in the KD trade. Those two will be in action Saturday. Now we talked about Mikel Bridges' consecutive game streak. 367 straight games. It is by far and away the longest active streak in the NBA. It is more than double. Uh, how did you sort of manage not playing in a game? It had been a few hundred games, I think, right? Yeah, oh, man, I'll take this one. He was shaking. He was like, <laughs> I, I got to get out there. I got to get out there. I'm going to calm down. It was pregame. There's like nine, ten minutes on the clock. He's like, we got to get out there and, and get to our seats. I'm like, man, calm down, man. Calm down. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Hold on, hold on. Don't get it twisted. Don't act like this man, this is when we got traded, he's over here looking at the schedule. It's like, well, if you do miss this game, we already played one more game than them. So if you look at it, you actually might finish playing 83, 83 games this might, year. Yeah. Might be a little bonus. I'm like, I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to keep his spirits up. <laughs> Spencer Denwitty, got to feel right at home back in Brooklyn. Played for Jacques Vaughn, and he puts the first one in the bucket here tonight. With this Nets team, they're going to have a lot of depth. They have got some outstanding defenders. They've got a lot of shooting. Simmons gets it back. Got to let it fly. Harris. Okay. Joe Harris is officially cooking right now in Brooklyn. Six threes in the quarter. Six for six. Tough pass. Ends up with a turnover. Denwitty running. Denwitty to Fetty Smith who throws it down. And the foul. You saw the atmosphere and you saw the building rally around those new guys. You can see a culture continue to evolve and, and grow. Denwitty pulls one over White and it's good! Denwitty hits a big three for the Nets. Trade deadline in the books. Teams know who they are now.
Brooklyn picks up the win tonight. The energy around the group feels similar to the, what it was like when we had sort of those development years. There was just good energy around the team. Everybody tried to play the right way, competed, played hard, bought into what uh, the coaches were, were preaching. And you know, hopefully we can get to that point with this group that we have now. Our story, man. This is the start of it tonight. Okay. Our story. We ain't gonna let nobody else write it. Okay. This group right here, we're gonna write it. Every piece of it. Okay, from beginning to end. All right, let's go, man. Come on, win on three. One, two, three. Win. Win. Three forty-five walkthrough, early game tomorrow. All right, y'all make sure Mikhail and, and we got five, we got two cams. What, what, how we? Yeah, I was there first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 CJ, that how we that's how we roll. Yeah. CJ Cam. So how we start game is gonna be important for this crew, right? So whatever there is that preparation going into the game. Get your routine, so we ready to roll. It's a tornado of emotions, head spinning. There's so much that I can focus on right now that anybody, Dory and Spencer, Mikhail, can focus on right now. But right now, first and foremost, we should focus on the hoop because when we focus on what we can do on the court and building this team up, then everything will take care of itself. We've talked about defensively how good we can be. The versatility, different lineups that we can have where we can put pressure on the basketball. Kale start the game, you want to pick up hard full court all over the place. When we watched film, the first thing they said going over scout, we're like, we're going to pick them up full court. Like, they looked at me, I was like, okay, I like this energy. Like, hell yeah. What a defensive lineup the Nets have put out to start things off. We kind of just have a team mentality where we're just, we get after teams. We have length, guys that can shoot, guys that can create, guys that can play above the rim. And I think it's going to be a tenacity type of deal where we just, you know, come out and play hard every night. Liam Johnson, a three to start things off for his next career. It's a steal by Bridges, and he puts it back in. Welcome to Brooklyn. Johnson for Finney Smith. Oh, defense to offense for the new look Nets. I think we saw some immediate chemistry from that group, and because they have familiarity with each other, that does help. You have multiple players that can attack and get in the paint. You're already seeing that, the opportunity to not only drive and drop pass, but drive and kick. That's going to be really important for how this team functions offensively. Six to shoot. Did win it. You can see how it is already, man, just playing free, having fun. Once you have a groove and everybody out there just being as one, it's, it's fun out there. Two with the net tag, down three with .9 to go. O'Neal, Dinwiddie! But it's too late. The Sixers steal one in Brooklyn, 101 to 98. I hope that uh, they felt the uh, connectivity already. We talked about being relentless and just bringing a, um, a way of playing every single night. It's going to be tough to play against us. You know, the minutes weren't high and we still can play at an efficient and a, and a pace that's relentless. And so I'm going to use that word with this group uh, that we can do it on both ends of the floor. For as much as you instantly want to see how this team plays, it's a feel-out process of combination lineups, who you're finished with, who you're going to close with, and that takes a little bit of time. And the Nets nine game winning streak against the Knicks is over as the Knicks blitz the Nets in the second half. It's just normal growing pains, I feel like. Um, still, I feel an energy from this group. Um, I still feel like we got the players necessary to win games. And we'll take it from there. One, two, three, win. win. Shoulders, toes. Knees. Ooh. Basketball. Where's Mikhail? Excuse me for one second. Can I please interrupt for one second? 
my friends, you are number one. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. I had to change that today. Two. Two. Well, you easy. You just got to take away the three. You got to get better. I'm doing now. Sharpen up. I got you. Sorry. The great thing about these new additions is they came in here and saying from day one, hey, I can't wait to get out in front of the fans. I can't wait to play in front of Brooklyn. You know, it's one thing to play in Barclays and play in front of those fans. It's another to go out into the community and, and give back. And I think all these guys, that's part of their character. That's part of their DNA. And that certainly plays a role in who we acquire and the value we place on these guys. Um, I have a question. Um, you said that you went undrafted. Um, when you didn't hear your name being called, was that one of the things that made you push harder? Definitely. Uh, I cried that night, you know. Um, just because, you know, I worked hard for that, you know, to hear my name being called that night. But, um, you know, it just, it was part of my story. You're going to hit bumps and bruises, but you got to stick to it. Regardless if it's basketball, being an engineer or a doctor. So if you work hard and you believe the work you're putting in, you know, you're going to build your confidence. So that's all it is. If you got confidence in yourself, it don't matter what nobody else thinks. Nah, hell no. Nah. It ain't sunny in New York, is it? It ain't 80 degrees in New York, is it? Me missing three? Come on. It's 80 degrees in New York right now. I'm rolling now. It's different when you go to a different team and you have different terminology and you're trying to do it on the fly and you're exhausted from the opposite end from playing defense and you're trying to get your brain work at the same time. So that's the challenge and the biggest challenge is it's got to happen now. Our, our 20 game sample size has already started so we'll have a rotation that uh, probably going forward you'll see for a little bit. I think we're very, very fortunate to see this group of players, you know, continue to try and grow over the remainder of the season. So that to me is exciting. They're all used to playing with sort of an alpha dog on their respective teams. And, and now to come here and say, okay, you know, how do we do this by committee? To me, it's exciting to see who's going to take that next step, who's going to take that next jump. Dinwiddie peaks the clock. He's got Robinson defending him. Dinwiddie. Oh, that is a really high Johnson's got all the sauce. Good job rebounding, man. I'm going to keep saying it almost every time out. Right? We control that part of the game. Don't give them second shots. That's going to help us all night. Okay? Everybody get a piece of somebody. Bridges, body bumps, pull up. It's good. Mikel Bridges is on automatic right now. He already has become a fan favorite. My teammates just kept finding me, and uh, coach just drawing stuff up too, so they gave me the confidence to go out there and just be aggressive. Out for O'Neal, shot clock winding down. Oh, Bridges beats the buzzer! Mikel Bridges is not human! It has been a dominant night for Brooklyn Bridges. A new career high, 45 points for Bridges. I just believe in this team a lot. We have the players, we have the coaches, we have the mindset, so we keep getting better and keep learning and keep growing together. I feel like we'll be a scary team. We want to form our own identity, our own culture, have our own story as a group, and this group gets a chance to define that, write every chapter of that book. And so uh, that's what we're gonna allow them to do. I don't know what the last chapter of the book looks like, but I know along the way, our story is going to be a, a team that's defined by playing extremely hard, competitive every night, got guys that can cover for each other. We're going to find a way to get it done and uh, enjoy doing it along the way. Our story, yes, our story.